Hi guys, welcome back. This is video part 26, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made the mattresses for my built-in beds. Alright guys, so when I started making these last night, I had no idea I was going to be covering them with this material here. I actually thought I was going to make the mattresses and leave them with that material that's on the inside there. And that's just some material that I found on the back side of a quilted pillow cover that I got at the thrift store. And I like this material here. I thought it looked really cute and looked comfortable. <laughs> looked kind of soft when I put it on the bed boards. But then today I was looking for something in my closet and I found some material that I had actually bought for mattress making a few years ago. And I totally forgot that I had it. So when I found this stuff, I knew right away that I was going to want to use it because it does look like mattress cover. So I'm going to leave all the clips that I did film since last night in there because I do the mattresses, the first part, by hand and then I take it over to the sewing machine and I make another one. So the first one I made was for the uh, bed underneath the stairs and then I had to make these two and these are for the built-ins into the wall and they have a funny shape to them. So I leave all the clips in so you can see how I get those funny shapes. Also how to make the mattress and stuff it and make a mattress cover if you so choose. You don't have to do uh, the cover itself. Of course you can just um, do it one time. <laughs> I end up sewing two things together but you can actually just do it once. But I like how these turned out. So I will leave all the clips as they are and I hope you enjoy. So I want to make a mattress and the closest thing I could find was the back or the inside of a vintage pillow case. It's the one that's the kind that's lined. I haven't really seen any like that. It's like a sham, I guess you call it. A sham? <laughs> I don't know what you call those things. Oh, I'll take you over there. One of these things with the ruffled edges. There was two of them. I found them in a thrift store. So when I turned them inside out, there was this here. Now the big question of the day, is that called a pillow sham? Not sure. Anyway, I am no seamstress, but I know I have to sew. I want to have this folded over so there's a bit of uh, comfiness to it. So I know I should sew it inside out first and then turn it right side, right? So let's try that. I'm just going to do this real quick. Nothing fancy here. I'll just go back and forth. I do have a sewing machine, but what the heck, might as well just go for the gusto here. So I got the one end closed, and now I want to do this end here. So now I'll just continue up the uh, side. Okay, so now I'm going to knot this off. And to break free, I am going to cut down that edge. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this inside out. I have a little bit of stuffing here and it's just from the inside of a pillow, again from the thrift store. Okay, so I want to put a little bit in here. Not too much, I don't want to have it overstuffed. Okay, now I have to sew this closed. How am I going to do that now? I guess just like that. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sewing 101. Don't use me for sewing tutorials. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I know. Maybe if I could bring my needle inside that crease. Maybe that'll work. I think I'm on to something, folks. I think I'm on to something. Okay, I'll knot off. Alright guys, I'm just editing and the next clip just kind of dives right in before I explain what happened to this one here. Uh, like I said earlier, I didn't know I was going to be covering these mattresses, so I thought I was done with the mattress and I brought it over and I put it 
into place. And then today, like I said, I ended up covering all my mattresses with this material. So the next clip is going to show you how I made the mattress for the built-in bedboard inside the wall, the cubby inside the wall. And then I used my sewing machine. So that's what we're doing now. I have taken you over to my sewing machine and we're making another mattress. So because the top mattress board is a little bit weird, I took a paper template. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut around. This is the front part. So I'm going to leave the fold there and I'm going to cut around this way. I got to have a little bit of a, an allowance there for the seams. So I'm going to cut wide around. Okay. So this will be my mattress. Once I sew it together, it's going to sit like that. So I need to sew it inside out, remember? Okay, so I'm just going to sew around and I'm going to go almost all the way around this time and just leave a little opening. This is the next day after I sewed those ones yesterday. I um, <laughs> had a sleep and realized, oh my goodness, uh, there was an easier way to do that sewing. So I'm going to sew all three sides, almost the third side. Okay, so I can trim off a little bit. And now I'm going to turn this inside out. No, right side. I'm going to turn this right side. Back over at my messy desk. I'm going to stuff this mattress a little bit. Just like we did yesterday. Boy, what a difference a sleep makes. I couldn't even think of words or anything last night. I should have just went to bed, but that's okay. I, got, I was that much further ahead this morning when I got up. I realized I got lots done anyway. Okay, so all I have to do now is close up that small hole in there. And I think I'll do it on the inside just like I did last night. So I'll keep my needle on the inside. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Alright, so the same way we got our mattress with a little template. We're going to do the same thing for the cover. And again, the fold is the front of the mattress. So we're not going to see any seams in the front. Okay, and we're going to cut this wide around that template. You could pin the, temp the um, paper pattern piece onto your fabric, but these pieces are so small I don't bother. And I think this is the right side. Is that the right side or the wrong side? I think either way. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now we're going to sew the exact same way we did the mattress, except for we have to leave a wide open spot to tuck the mattress into. Okay, so I'm going to start right there. turn this right side then we can put our mattress in there okay so now we just have to sew the one in close and I try to make it look as neat as possible there we go now I've just knotted off and now I'm going to bring this in again and I'm going to carry it right about there and those indents on here look super cute. They do, they look super cute. So I'm just going to knot this off. Okay, now go to the back side. one and I'll bring it through 
and down a little ways. I'm going to put four of these in. Again, totally not necessary. I just like the look of it. Okay, I'm going to bring it through the mattress and just over a little ways and put two more in. Let's go see it in place. So you can see they look pretty cute in place and each one fits perfectly on its own bed board. Oh, I like those. So that's the end of this video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed and maybe got an idea to make your own mattress. I'll end the video there and I believe the next one is going to be the ladder for the bunk beds. Uh, don't quote me because I could be wrong, but I believe it's going to be the ladder for the bunk beds and when it's available it will be popping up on your screen. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.